Rob versus Syrup the Ness. I actually haven't seen these guys play, but this is going to you know be what? an awesome that, set. I know they've both been at Fusions before. I don't know if they've both played each other. So someone, will, I'm sure, will correct me in the comment section uh, later if I'm wrong on this. But listen, Syrup, again, one of the uh, – has been making waves, uh, you know, since offline has come back. Definitely not just a one-trick Wi-Fi pony. Uh, racking up a lot of solid wins. And definitely something to look for against Syrup is that, you know, in neutral, things might look, you know, a little slow sometimes. Zero's punish game is absolutely unmatched. Yeah. He knows if, if he gets the one hit on you, uh, regardless of what it is, he knows every single tree out of every single scenario. The office flow chart is very strong for right. Zero. But what does the flow chart have an answer for for Zamba? Because I feel like Zamba is definitely the uh, you know uh, the X factor in most matchups uh, for, for people. Wow. And you know, one of the things I want to say is also it, it was evidenced more by like his set with uh, Sinji and I'm sure we'll see it here, is that Syrup's spacing is really, really good. Yeah. Like, and for me to give a Ness, Ness a general as a character a compliment, <laughs> like, this character, he's so good with this character. Like, his spacing is godlike. So, I mean, Rob, though, Rob's that guy. He's like, you know what? I don't care how you're spacing. You're gonna have to space around this gyro, picking up this laser. Yeah, this is a matchup on paper where you'd imagine it's not bad for Ness because, again, Rob, big character, a uh, huge body. Rob with a lot of, uh, you know, less with a lot of combo strings. But also, Rob, uh, very explosive and uh, very uh, good at, you know, killing these smaller, lighter characters. The thing about this, the thing that we're seeing here is that, you know, if you're floaty, it, you just have a horrible time against Rob at disadvantage. Yep. Like, Rob gets to whiff, like, five moves and still frame trap you before you could land. I mean, this is really tough for Syrup. He's really going to have to figure out a way to, like, change his spacing or change his, his game in the air so that he's not just, like, whiffing a move and getting immediately zero to death by, uh, by Rob. Ooh, okay, avoiding the PK uh, Rockin, uh, but not going to get a huge follow-up on it is Zamba. Syrup trying to get on the board here, but Zamba, doing, like you mentioned, Glenn, doing such a great job, you know, uh, you know, making sure that when Ness gets hit in the air that uh, he does not uh, land without taking a plethora of damage first. Yeah, I mean, this is this is really... Wow, okay, the back throw killing, but he's still down by a lot. I mean, this, this is basically last hit. If he gets grabbed by Rob at this percent, he is likely to die. And if he doesn't, he will die from the next grab, guaranteed. Yeah, you see her, you can play it from inside out, but again... Seeing, seeing Ness have to play anti-grab, kind of hype. <laughs> <laughs> a little weird. Definitely a whole shoes on the other foot type scenario, for sure. Ness is definitely like, this is what I've been doing to people? Like, <laughs> grabbing is broken. <laughs> Definitely taking a long, hard look in the mirror uh, after this set for sure. Ooh. Oh, but uh, if you see now, good. That was actually really good SDI by by Zamba because if he did not SDI to that PK fire, which is also really hard to do as Rob, he would have died. And then he died edge guarding syrup. But obviously, when the rocket connects, if it hits somebody, it lowers how how far believe, yeah, his it rocket will go. It, it cuts yeah. in half. So, so sometimes, great awareness from Zamba there. He's like, it's actually worth it for me to get hit by this because he's not going to recover from this distance. Yep, again, force him to recover Check it low. Out. And at this point, it's just basic basic math. Th that's the Rob from from <laughs> uh, from Subspace Emissary that sacrificed himself. That was him right there. That was that Rob. I mean, the one that's a leader of a of The a one cult. that, that, that like, opened the bomb and was like, oh, this is evil. I'm going to just blow up with this bomb and save the Nintendo characters. That part of Subspace is just the ending of iRobot. <laughs> like, just saying. Someone posted a clip of the Subspace uh, 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 like moment where you see all the Robs and they're like all evil and they were like, this was a foreshadowing Ultimate. Where there's <laughs> oh, an army of Robs that you're gonna have to deal with. That's the meta of Ultimate. Yeah, I love that even Super Smash Brothers couldn't even avoid the robot apocalypse. Yeah. Hollywood's been writing that story for years and even Smash is like, yeah, we can get in on this. <laughs> All right, so we're in Smashville for this game two. Um, looking very much like game one. I mean, again, this is one of those things where if you could challenge Ness in the air, I mean, you just have it made. And Syrup is like, uh, this character is very floaty. Syrup's having a really hard time landing. Yeah, like again, like you mentioned, you know, being a floaty character, Ness is a lot like a beach ball. You know, you kind of just want to keep them uh, yeah, <laughs> in the air as yikes. much as possible. Yeah, that was that was a whole lot of yikes as the up smash. We'll connect right there. So Zamba looking uh, awfully solid here, but uh, Syrup continuing to uh, to apply pressure right here. Whoever's gonna have center uh, stage and under that platform is gonna be in for a load of uh, good fortune. All right, Syrup throwing off stage. Can he keep Zamba in disadvantage while he takes the snake rope and goes all the way up there? And it didn't work out. 
I mean, Zamba to, to, to turn, turn that thing around. One of the things that people talk about a lot with Rob is like, oh, you know, he's big, so his disadvantage. I'm like, if you really pay attention to it, he has a lot. He has maybe more offensive options in disadvantage than a lot of other characters. Yeah. And so it, it's sometimes it's really difficult for you as the player. Great. Yeah. PK yeah. Thunder to up air there from uh, Syrup. Closing out that stock. Now this doesn't look so... Doesn't look so lopsided. Definitely not a replay of game one. Yeah, and listen, you can definitely see a scenario here where, you know, Syrup gets the right uh, punish string, like we mentioned. Uh, he's proven he's very, very solid at, uh, you know, converting on that. But Zamba riding the ship right now. Going to connect with the up tilt to the upper, but not going to be enough uh, to kill just yet. Yeah, what we're seeing a lot of is that you see that... that um, Syrup is playing a game where he's he's not grounded, I think, because of the threat of the gyro. But he's like, he's finding himself like drifting in when he's in disadvantage a lot, and it's it's making things worse. A lot of times that he got hit, it was him trying to like get out of disadvantage by drifting in. And now can he close the stock out? I mean, he has the PK Thunder is a great tool against Rob going super high. Yeah, no, for very sure. smart idea from Syrup. Yeah, Syrup definitely has tools that other characters aren't very privy to. You know, to be able to hit Rob when he's kind of hanging out in the uh, the top last zone like that. And, you know, despite that, keeping it very close to Zamba. Zamba not even trying to challenge that PK Rocket, just opting to uh, ledge trap instead. Oh, and this is a fair. Oh, wow. yeah. Wow. Yeah, this dip. Um, you know, the gyro proving to be a real menace uh, for, Z uh, for a Syrup when they're trying to recover, as you saw right there, you know, uh, dropping the a little bit too low. Yeah. Sometimes oh, the only thing to fear is fear itself and a giant metal top. Man, and Zamba's just ha not having any of these problems that Syrup has. Syrup is having to really think hard about how he recovers. And I mean, Rob, look what he's doing. He's been in the air for like 30 seconds. He's still going to make it back. Yeah. Okay, no, he's not. Yeah, ran Jeez. out of gas, unfortunately. But listen, if you're Syrup, you definitely uh, are <laughs> not uh, you know upset about that scenario at all as you are now in a last stock situation. And uh, on winner's bracket uh, point right here as we were playing best of three in uh, semifinals right now. You know, it's interesting. It feels like Zamba's doing so well, but I look at the stock count and the pet percentage. It's really not that bad. It's This is actually very, very doable for Syrup still. Oh, this might be big. Yeah, like I mentioned, look at that. That did so much Using damage. the magnet to just turn that situation around and getting a lot out of it. Now it's damn near even. This could be it. Can he? He won't go off stage. Yeah, okay, gonna, once again, get nicked by the PK Thunder on the way down. Oh my gosh. These PK Thunders are brilliant. Yeah, no, uh, Syrup's definitely uh, woken up his last game here as we see uh, Rob being such a big character, Glenn, having a hard time getting around the PK Thunders. Uh-oh, I mean, and that's a stock. Great call yeah. out there. He just called out the jump knowing Zamba was going to go high again. He's like, all right, you want to go the snake route? I'm going to hit you with this Nikita, bro. <laughs> Here's this Nikita. Yep. PK Nikita. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's rocket launchers on Earthbound. I don't know. Someone will correct me in chat if I'm wrong. They all all I know is that Ness's dad is a phone. So <laughs> this guy is definitely not hyped, all right? He His definitely has some trauma fake. that he's taken out here on this robot. <laughs> all right, you see the bands on our screen right now. It looks like uh, Stadium 2 and Kalos. Syrup always looks here. so calm, man. Like, every time I see him, like, he'll be, like, game five last hit in a tournament. Or right now he's at a game three that's very, very close. He looks like he's a big chilling. He's a being a kid, right? Kids aren't afraid of anything, man. <laughs> like, <Yeah>. you know. <laughs> All right. And this game three on small battlefield to the Legend of Zelda theme. Very appropriate for Rob and Ness to be yeah. fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Rob is definitely uh, has, has guardian energy. And Ness is, uh, I don't know, an NPC. So. Uh, Rob is a guardian. That's yeah. hilarious. That is funny. Yeah. He's got the laser. He's got, you know, the doom. The guardians are, they, they're green, all right? They're, they've gone green. This guy runs on fossil fuels, man. <laughs> this is so... Oh God, Rob is so cringe, man. <laughs> all right, let's see if the, uh, you know, what adjustment Zamba can make here. Again, uh, the high recovery definitely was not, uh, you know, Zamba's friend in that last game. So let's see if maybe you see a little bit more of a grounded approach when in disadvantage, trying to just get uh, reset back to the ledge, uh, you know, to avoid that extra damage you get tacked oh, on. Oh, wow. Great catch there, using the Nair to catch the gyro. And it, one of the great things about this matchup, like, if you're really good with the gyro, that's very scary for Rob because it is very hard. Again, his body is huge. So if you're good with the gyro, you can actually really do a lot with it. All right. Okay, almost getting hit by the up air right there. Ooh. Oh, oh, this is going to be tough. So is scary. he going to get off this ledge? And he is. 
That should not going to be enough, but again, despite the, the you know the initial air dodge, Zamba has uh, always gotten hit by the uh, the follow-up hit of PK Thunder. However, able to get back down to the ledge here. Ooh. There we go, wow. the PK Magnet to the up air. Again, Rob being such a taller character, that's going to work to a lot higher uh, percent. But Zamba evening things up with the EX uh, side B. And, yeah, uh, we're using his super right yeah. there, working out. I mean, one of the things that I think Zamba needs to adjust here is that clearly the strategy of going high is not working anymore, and it's why he's down this, why he was down this game a second ago. So let's see if he just adjusts and starts going to the ledge. We'll see. I mean, obviously Ness is really good at the ledge, so we'll yep, see what happens. Yep. Here we go, Syrup getting a triple fair combo right there. It's going to be good damage. I mean, we haven't seen a lot of the PK flash, but uh, yeah, that is a move that uh, Syrup is not afraid to use, especially as a combo... Uh, you know, extender. Man, his Syrup's doing such a great job. Right now, he has Zamba on the ropes. He can feel it. And he's, like, calling out the rolls and the jumps. Like, he's calling out the defensive options. Zamba's a little scared here. Yeah, but Zamba... Even though it's not that bad. It, yeah. But it, he, he, I feel like he's playing a lot more scared because he's afraid of getting juggled by that Nikita again. Oh! And getting called out. You can't grab shield, grab that back air. That was crazy. And the fact that he didn't die to that either was insane. As falling out of the last hit of the up air, too, that definitely would have killed... If that connected for Syrup, but let's see if Zamba can, you know, get to the add the second lead. Oh, oh my god. Look at I mean, a second ago, these like jump in, drift in combo drift into to Rob like scenarios were not working out for him, but I, I feel like he has he's in Zamba's head a little bit. That was a really ballsy, like Zamba had a lot of time to react to that and he just fell for it. Yes, yeah, so let's see what uh, what's gonna happen here in this last stock scenarios. Again, Zamba doing a good job not letting the lead uh, get too big for him. So definitely, uh, well within within arms reach here for both players. No oh, way. Oh no, this is this is very scary for Ness. <gasps> Can he recover? Yes, he does. It's his turn to ledge trap, and that's oh, gonna no. be the stock. Oh, battlefield, small battlefield saving Zamba on any other stage, he would have died. Almost any other stage in the game, he would have been done. Uh oh. Oh my God. This is very scary. Can again. Ness land? He already used his double jump. His resources are low. Good use of Nair to get out of that. Ooh, again, Nair once again being the <laughs> ultimate bailout tool uh, for Syrup. Getting the parry on Rob's Nair, that is so Ooh, huge, especially in these last hit scenarios. Staling that back throw. I don't know if that was, that might cost him the set if he goes for another one and Rob does not die. Goes for the forward throw. Out for the high recovery. Shoots the gyro in his face. Uh-oh. And this is Zamba's game to, there, there it is. Wow. The down air. The like, two frame. I didn't even two frame. He just hit him before he could yeah. even get near it. I was going to say, that was just something we haven't seen the entirety of that uh, that set. You know, there were scenarios where, uh, you know, Syrup was recovering, you know, forced to recover low. And, you know, Zamba did not do the you know, the down air. But, yep. Get <laughs> <laughs> this is like the one time where that move actually lined up and it makes sense yeah. that it worked. And okay, there are plenty of clips where someone's literally like next to Rob. Like yep. they literally hit, shaking his hand from the side and he still B -b gets a spike. Gee, geez, my friend. Burn this fossil yeah. fuel we right just in your rocket. face, bro. Rockets explode. Oh, boy. So excellent stuff right there from Zamba. Again, very close set fought between, you know, uh, two of, uh, you know, players that are uh, writing their own story as we get into a post-quarantine yeah, Definitely world some, here. some greenhorns, yeah. range. <laughs> All right, this is going to be interesting because a lot of times, like the the Lucario matchup spread, uh, it kind of he kind of doesn't like characters that can just you know very consistently close out stocks early, like grapplers and sure, stuff like yeah. that. ZSS is not a grappler, but man, can she close out stocks consistently at the ledge? So I don't know if I mean obviously Hero would have had a hard time against ZSS. So I think Lucario might have been his only choice, but not necessarily like yeah. a great choice for him. Maybe not what he would want ultimately. Yeah, the name of the game against Lucario is to not play with your food. You want to take your stocks as early as you humanly can. The longer you let Lucario hang around, we've seen it time and time again. Uh, this character with Rage plus Aura is a menace to society. So, you know, Zero Suit Samus, again, not a character that's going to blow you away, but is a character that can uh, eliminate these stocks very, very early, uh, given the right circumstances. So let's see if it'll work out for WebJB here, or if uh, Lucario, or if Vivi. You know, I think first time I've seen them play Lucario today, so hopefully they're not super cold, but nonetheless looking pretty solid right now. Man, and that Aura Sphere just covering every possible tech option there. That was a tough scenario for Web. And, and you saw right there the exchange with the Zare going through the Aura Sphere. Definitely right. something to keep in mind as we get to, you know, those, maybe those late stock percents where Aura Sphere canceling becomes 
uh, you know, a huge factor for Lucario. Sheesh. And that command grab sending Alice to the moon. I mean, this this <laughs> this set is going to be determined by Webb's ledge trapping and edge guarding because Lucario's floaty and. The, ZSS just loves characters that are floaty. It's hard to land versus her. And again, you need to close these stocks out. So his less trapping, if it's if it's sharp, if it's on point, he's going to be taking these stocks th before Lucario becomes the jank rage monster yeah. that he is. <laughs> and that's going to determine the match, I think, more so than anything. But also, let's just say, Vivi, you know, playing neutral really, really well. I mean, his movement's been pretty good, and it hasn't been easy for Webb to catch him in, in neutral. And you see Webb doing a good job with just a slight of... Um no movement adjustments in these lead trap scenarios. We've seen a lot of B reverse paralyzer coming out. Uh, you know, a lot of B reverse, uh, you know, plasma whip as well. So definitely uh, no stranger to just kind of like slight micro spacing to get around the, you know, kind of gnarly hitboxes that Lucario can, uh, you know, gather as the percents get higher. Yeah, one of the things that's it that is very interesting about CSS is that all of her aerials pretty much are oh, missing that flip kick, man. And again, see, it's those kind of moments where that kind of is going to determine the match. I mean, here he has another shot. Great call out there with the side B. He jumped above the ledge a little bit. I wonder if Vivi's like, like shaking his head at that one, like, ah, oh, man, I just jumped a little too early. Yeah. I could have been below the ledge and not been hit by that. Yeah, kind of a rookie mistake right there. You never want to jump parallel to the ledge like that because you leave yourself open, uh, especially when your uh, opponent has moves that can reach you know, that far, like the plasma warp cam. So if you're Vivi, you're definitely kicking yourself a little bit here, but you know, uh, you know, the harder you get hit, the stronger Lucario is going to get. So if you're WebJP, you know, again, this goes for most matches against Lucario. You're not, uh, you can't feel comfortable until the game tells you it's over. Right. And one of the things that's, you know, really, really good about CSS is that all of her aerials are pretty safe on block. You kind of have to get used to punishing the next thing she does. And there he called out a jump, got it with the R-Sphere. Um, but you're seeing a lot of scenarios where Webb will sh pressure Vivi's shield and Vivi has to like guess whether he's going to F till afterward or just run away or jump away. And like those kind of little scenarios really determine whether you get your, you know, your, your win in neutral or get yep. out of disadvantage. All right, so we're nearing the uh, scary percents right here. If, again, if you're WebJP, you definitely don't want to get super comfortable. But if you're Vivi, you definitely have to be on your P's and Q's because the Zerts with Amos has, oh, you know, three oh or four boy. options he can kill you with. Oh, and boy. Webb is really trying to make sure he does not let Lucario set up again in this scenario. He's like, I need to stay in advantage. I need to close out the stock now because it's getting scary. Oh, boy. The, one of these back airs and, and one of these command grabs, I mean, it'll kill soon. Maybe not yet, but it will kill soon. So Webb really needs to get this clutch hit. No. Nope. Okay. Oh, and no. That's a stock, yes. <laughs> so he... He did the B reverse or a charge. Yeah. Canceled that into the command grab. Yeah. Turn around, command grab. Wow. Yeah, it's scary. If you take a look at the exchange here, as you know, unfortunately there for uh, WebJP, probably ending up on the ledge when they didn't want to. Again, ooh, yep, running up with the sh There Get, it is. Yeah, it Got the matter. confirm. That is a confirm, and you are dead. Dunzo. Force palm. Right there, baby. Yeah. He's a steel type. <laughs> as in steal your stock. <laughs> Boy, you would sit on that one, I'm sure, for... No, I just thought of it. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Why are you booing me? I'm right. Oh, man. But again, <laughs> kind of like what I just said, you know, like, uh, this match is going to be determined by the ledge trapping. Webb missed uh, an opportunity to ledge trap him, and he died for it. Yeah. And that's really going to determine who wins this set. Yeah, if, you, if, you know, if you're WebJP, listen, you already passed the ultimate patience test in beating uh, John Numbers. Vivi, another one of those characters, the players that's really going to test your patience, especially in those late stock scenarios, you know, you kind of want to press the envelope, force your opponent to think a little bit faster, but, you know, Lucario's a character where even at the slightest, uh, you know, mess up, he was at 53 before they hit and he exploded, so, you know, you have to be on your toes at all percents against Lucario in these last hit scenarios. Yeah, we also, I mean, Vivi's also doing a great job of actually approaching. Like, I mean, it's easy to say, oh, it's Lucario, he just wants to charge Aura. But if you watch the first few interactions of the game, he actually just called out Zero Suit's jump and he, he got, the, he just won neutral and, and yeah. started the game off really strong. The thing about Zero Suit Samus is like, her rising aerial is forward air, but if you're far away, she's not just gonna forward air in place, you know what I mean? So you you can kind of, it's safe to assume she's gonna do a short hop and wow. Really great back air there from uh, Webb. Yeah, Zare to back air, one of the, uh, you know, confirms that ZSS does have to play with at these percents. And like you mentioned, you know, uh, Webb is the Zare king. Uh, you know, uh, converting out of that, uh, you know, for a lot of his offense for sure. So, 
Man, and that frame one jab, like she, the second ZSS whiffs something, most players will like spot dodge, you know what I mean? Like pick a defensive option. The ZSS players are not like that. They mash jab. So he whiffed an up smash and was like, Ugh, hold this fist. Yep. <laughs> We've all seen the memes. How do you approach a woman with the frame one jab? It's very, very difficult. Wow, beautiful uh, wave bounce. <laughs> that was actually really nice. That, yeah. that was like perfectly spaced. It looked, it looked like Vivi was like, wait, what the heck did she just do? Yeah, listen, ZSS gets a lot of, uh, you know, distance out of things, you know, like wave bouncing and beer reversing, uh, you know, her aerials. Dude, he forced his palm upon her, bro, and she didn't die. That was actually really nice. And he has a decent amount of rage because, as we know, like Lucario, his aura stacks per stock. Yes. So he has a little bit more every stock that he loses. Yeah, as you see right there, once you start hearing like the, the loud horror noise, you know, the, the bass in the venue starts getting uh, a little crunchy. That's when you know Lucario is at those, uh, that danger percent as, you know. It's All like... fear by Dre. <laughs> It's just like an unbeatable base. Like the base is just when he shoots the R sphere, you like feel it. Like it just like speaker in your chest. Yeah, 4D for sure. Yeah. Ooh, okay, I'm having the right idea, uh, but WebJ feet just goes a little bit too high for that punish. As Vivi again doing a good job holding on to this aura. You know, you know maybe uh, forcing WebJP to think uh, twice. You know when running in here. Yeah, really smart there for um, you know Web to go for a grab on that B reverse aura charge. Uh, Vivi's been doing that the whole game, and like, I, I feel like Webb's been respecting it until now. Now he's like, oh yeah, you know what, I'm just gonna grab him when he does that. Ooh, okay, Oris will connect right there, so Vivi still, uh, you know, keeping it uh, respectable and close, by the way, is uh, WebJP trying to send it to a game three. Oh, and there it is, whiff a move into the jab, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> the old whiff to jab mix-up. Yeah, frame one jab, baby. Whiff to mash. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's see. You see Vivi, uh, you know, starting to air dodge in some awkward spots here. Ooh, missing, you know, I wonder, a lot of times missing a tech is actually the best thing you could do um, because the other person is going to call out your your tech roll into the ledge and then yep. you get back aired. I think Vivi was looking for a back air there and Webb either missed the tech on purpose or by accident, but missing it is actually what saved him. Vivi was not ready for that. He respected him as a player. He's yeah. like, he's going to get this tech. <laughs> and when he didn't get it, he was like, oh, I respected you. Yeah, you see WebJP searching for this uh, kill right here, but Vivi, uh, you know, holding on for dear life. Oh, and that's a stock. Game two is set. Yeah. We're going to a game three. We yeah. see a ban, uh, an immediate classic New Jersey <laughs> ban of Lilac Cruz. Like, literally, he didn't even think about it. Frame one jab, <laughs> frame one ban Lilac, and then he banned um, Smashville. Okay. Oh, town, 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 town and city. Thank you to the voice in our head uh, who is uh, providing yes. us with all the information we need. <laughs> the voices in our head are always good. Yeah. <laughs> Should probably see a doctor about that, but, you know. <laughs> uh, it's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, bl uh, I'm blinking twice. I'm being held hostage, by the way. So, all right. That is definitely not Toad. That is Slippy, man. <laughs> that is Slippy. It has to be. One, go. <laughs> <laughs> Watch us find out it's the same voice actor. I'm gonna have to look that up afterward. Yeah, you might not sleep. To you might lose some sleep tonight over that one. So. All right, tied up 1-1 here. Uh, winner moves on into winner's finals of the date with Zamba. So let's see who uh, wants it more here. If it's going to be Vivi or uh, WebJP. If you're WebJP, you might be a little bit tilted because, like, man, should have won this 2-0 already. But. Yeah, and uh, now we're at this game three. I mean, I, I don't I mean, I mean, don't know. It really can go either way. I mean, in this game, it, it just feels like, especially against Lucario and ZSS characters, it just, like, yeah. they steal your stocks. They just take them away. Like, yeah. it feels like <laughs> stock leads are not as big of a deal. I feel like as Ultimate has been progressing, people's punish games have gotten so good that yeah, people kind of exactly. just bring it back. Like, it's, it's really not that big of a lead a lot of times. And right now, this is dead even, so. Yeah, again, listen, if, if you're WebJP, you know, the more you can kind of keep things... Uh, Within arm's reach, the better, you know, the higher. Uh, but again, you don't want to get into a scenario where you start playing with your food and, you know, VV uh, steals one from underneath you with, uh, you know, Rage back air or an Aura Sphere or Force Palm has been a huge factor in this set so far. So, Man, I mean, Webb was just calling, trying to call out a jump there and he, he didn't get it, but gets the side beat, doesn't kill. Wow. All right, gets back. The flip jump's not going to connect. You see VV locked in the ledge here. Ooh, but oh, great! Wow. That was, that was amazing. 
That he hasn't slick. done that once the whole set. I wonder if he was just saving it. Like, I'm going to save this until it's going to take the stock. Yeah, listen, up smash being one of ZSS's strongest options. The forward smash on that air dodge into the ground uh, will punish that uh, nicely for Vivi, though. So we're back at even uh, you know, zeros across the board here. You know, it's interesting. I, earlier I said this, this game, is uh, this set is going to be determined by the ledge trapping. But now I'm realizing that really the challenge for the ZSS player against Lucario is... If you're fighting against Ukara, you have to find answers to that B reverse aura charge because yep. that's that's really like his neutral. Like it's all centered around that. And so we're seeing Webb find like three different answers in three different situations. Like one time he grabbed him, the other time he did something else, and then that time he did up smash. I mean, really, really smart plays there. Yeah, you know, you see uh, Webb answering back with VV's, you know, B reverses with B reverses of his own, you know, adjusting his own spacing. And listen, he has a whip to play with, so things are definitely going to be a little bit more easier for him. Uh, Spacing wise in those type scenarios. Oh, wait a second. Oh man, and you know, Webb is so um I mean he really is an aggressive player. I mean he I mean obviously it's it's like you said earlier, it's camping in your face. But man, he just keeps wow. I told you, like this man is a Zare specialist. If yeah. you miss if he Zares you, man, and you miss that tech, or you just he, I don't even know if you even if you he read, the tech, he read, he's, he read he's, the roll away and yeah, was able to Like this react man will turn game. that into a stock every time. Ooh, okay, rolls behind the forward smash, but not getting a big punish out of it. So let's see what Webb does with the lead here as Vivi able to generate a little bit of space here. It gets uh, Webb in a lead trap scenario, but coughs it up. I forgot Lucario even had a counter. <laughs> I haven't seen that in so long. I was like, wait, what move is that? <laughs> Very seldom we use. It's yeah. double team. One of the things I also really like about this set is that both of these players are kind of using like ballsy mix-ups to get back on stage. Like we just saw Webb flip kick right in front of him onto stage from the ledge, and Lucario he he was wasn't ready for it, so Vivi just kind of like respected it. And we see Vivi doing really smart like up bees where he'll just recover early and get back on stage. All right, last stock scenario for both players here is Vivi uh, nearing the sentry mark here as WebJP as a fresh. Uh, third stock to play there with, but, is. oh my gosh. Just up in, uh, into you on stage. That's very, very ballsy. Have to be very careful here. If you're WebJP, you don't want to overextend and allow yourself to get uh, opened up in a punish by Lucario, especially with Rage uh, being a factor here. Oh, wow. Poorly spaced Nair. D is it going to die for it? Great awareness from Web that he could up be that. Oh, Ooh. and he almost fell for it. He didn't have an answer for it that time. Ooh. If he misses the tech, oh, Ooh. he almost got it. Vivi oh trying to read a tech roll in. All right, Vivi with the extreme speed into WebJP. Both players uh, really <laughs> dancing around each other's danger zones here. Man, and looking how mobile Web has been with ZSS, avoiding that giant R sphere. I mean, this is going to be really tough oh, for Vivi. No! Oh, you got to wonder if that was a misinput. I mean, it definitely wasn't a hard read. There was no way his opponent could be there. Uh, oh, boy, this is a nail biter. Oh my gosh, so much spaghetti on both sides here. And the back will connect, and that'll be all she wrote as... Dying at 81% in the middle of the stage almost. Oh, Lord. Yeah, listen, you saw a lot of, you know, maybe some... Uh, 81. A lot of nervous fingers here there. As you see, again, uh, miss input on the up smash. What was going to be... Oh, he ran up to try to F-tilt and maybe thinking that, uh, you know, V was going to run up and shield in front of him. Uh, Oof, right in the face. <laughs> the music in the background just makes it oh, so much boy. better. <laughs> but yeah, listen, that was a closely contested set between those guys. I expected it to be a close set. Again, yeah, you course. know, uh, definitely a uh, you know a marathon set right there. And if you're Vivi, you know, you're probably kicking yourself a little bit there, like you mentioned. Yeah. Uh, very much in the driver's seat in all of those games, and you know, uh, yeah. Lucario's X Factor is that and you are not. It's like the you know the the bad guy in a horror movie. Like and, you are and, not safe. Yeah. At even any though time. he was at 81, percent you could tell that Webb like knew he was like. He was playing extra, extra careful because he knew he was going to die at that percent. Like, I think some other players might underestimate just how much aura Lucario has yeah. when he's on his last yeah. stock and he was at 152. Like, and you're in the middle of the stage. I think some other players might have underestimated that. But, you know, Webb was mindful of it. But, you know, at the end of the day, he traded and the trade was no backsies. <laughs> that guy is gone. Yeah, again, you saw, again, some nervous fingers there, a boost kick that probably wasn't meant to be uh, pressed there, and up smash that probably definitely was, was nervous, to, yeah. To, yeah, so definitely so it's a little bit of uh, jittery fingers there, but listen, if you're Vivi, you're uh, taking that to the bank, so we're going to have a New York... You can see it in his play, and 
It's like if you give him data, he's really, really, really good at it. Yeah. And but, listen, I think Jackal's been able to crack his code on a couple of things. Number one, his mentality way better than it's ever been. You know, Jackal is a player that, you know, once things weren't going great, uh, things could tend to snowball away from him, like, you know, in the in the mental game sort of things. Definitely got a lot better at that. Also, just discovered what noise-canceling headphones were. So oh, you can now uh, figure out, you know. <laughs> yeah, can't hear that, for sure. Those headphones on. Oh, so. Lord, did you see? This man just did a, that's a not easy to do, the fair to immediate back air. That was beautiful. What a yeah. great, like, what a great combo. And this is a matchup on paper where you probably look at it and be like, okay, it's a little, it's probably rough for Ness. Ness definitely uh, can do really well against fast fallers and the space animals in general. Uh, but listen, you know, Syrup has lost to Jackal, and Syrup uh, had a pretty closely contested set with Unknown at uh, another New Jersey Wolf main when he when he played him uh, Wolf first Ness uh, at a DNA a couple weeks ago. So definitely not uh, a walk in the park matchup by any stretch of the imagination. So yeah, definitely not. And one of the interesting things about the matchup is obviously the yo-yo over the ledge. That's going to be your stock. Ness getting back thrown. We are here for it. <laughs> but the the yo-yo, a lot of people don't know that like when he hangs the yo-yo over the ledge, there's a certain point where it stops, the hitbox stops, and he has to the player has to let it go yes. at the right time in order to hit your recovery. Some people recover early and they just get hit by the, the yo-yo and top. Yeah, that's where you see those like buffered air dodges come out in those scenarios yeah. too. So again, you see Jackal, you know, uh, you know, being very conscious of that and Syrup evening things up with the backer at the ledge, so you know, we'll see again. Both these players, that both these characters at low percents, you know, when they're able to get those initial uh, combo starter hits, they can really extend it for long stretches of time. Yeah, I mean, Syrup's, Syrup's combo game, and it, you know, the Ness's damage output in general, it's it's gonna keep him in. Wow, great recovery there from from Jackal. Decided to just go hit him. I'm just gonna hit him instead of trying to go to the ledge. That yo-yo, I don't need to respect it all the time. Okay, good poking through with the up air uh, from the ledge from Syrup. Ooh, the long-lasting hitbox of Wolf Snare, Glenn. I know how much you love that move. Oh, uh, boy. That move just hits everything all the time. Yeah, listen, it, it carries in the low percent, and it does. it's a great combo center in the mid percent, and it's a great killing option at high percent. So it's definitely a, a, you know, a Swiss army knife of moves, as is the dash attack, as you get you know the late hitbox of that move. It sends you way out to the sides. Oh, wow. He almost died to a raw Nair. It'd be like that sometimes, man. Wow, okay. That was an interesting scenario. He, I think Jackal expected him to run off and, and do a detail or something, so he did get up attack, ended up getting forwarded for it, and dying. The ledge trapping from both of these players is really, really, really good. Yeah, listen, both these characters definitely uh, make their homes at the ledge. You know, can really uh, keep you there in disadvantage for a long stretch of time. Uh, you see Jackal right here. Oh, wait a oh, second. What? Man, if he got stage spiked, he definitely would be very upset right now. The fact that he's still alive is actually impressive. Most people just die at any percent trying to challenge that move. Trying to challenge the uh, PK Rocket. Yeah, as you see right here, Jackal once again taking stage at the ledge, but Syrup gets a nice catch on the jump right here. Oh. Can you do it? Oh, and that's not going to be the stock. No, going to get the, uh, the spark, but not going to be enough to kill just yet. And can he kill him here at the ledge? Oh, there you go. Yep, I mean, you see uh, Syrup shaking uh, his head right there, not meaning to go for that up smash as the dash attack from Wolf uh, O'Donnell, everybody's favorite, uh, uh, you know, Irish, uh, you know, uh, space animal. Falco is Italian, last name Lombardi. All right, Fox and Wolf are Irish. O'Donnell and McLeod, famous Slippy Irish. is American? <laughs> <laughs> so like, I don't even know if they have wolves in uh, Ireland. They probably do, but like, <laughs> it's just funny. And then Slippy's just Toad. He's just Slippy yeah. Toad. <laughs> <laughs> Peppy's Peppy Hair and Slippy Slippy Toad, and they're like, all right, let's make the other ones Italian and Irish. Three, two, all right, one, game two, go. going to Smashville. The, uh, this is this has been Ness's home forever, man. It's funny that even with the hazards off, with the platform center stage, uh, unlike in previous Smash games, this is still such a great stage for Ness. You can tell me Ness is an is an Animal Crossing character. He kind of could be a villager. Yeah. <laughs> oh God. And are we are we are we peeping Syrup right now? Syrup doing some fancy d down air like mid percent combos and stuff. That was really cool. 
Yeah, listen, like we mentioned, you know, when uh, Ness gets things like PK fire at the low percents. Oh, brother. Mercy. You are dead. Man, and Jude's, you know what the thing about Jackal is? His punish game has been really solid. Um, I think that him and Syrup have been doing pretty much as good as each other in neutral, but it's just been that Syrup's punishes haven't been as strong. He's, he hasn't been able to just take those stocks as cleanly, whereas Jackal's just like, yep, I know exactly what to do and just clean this stock up real quick. Yeah, for sure. Listen, uh, Wolf is one of those characters where if you give him any room at the ledge, you will explode as down smash. You know, everyone knows uh, that move's been good since the game uh, launched. Ooh, but great exchange right there from Syrup. The PK Magnets and a falling up there into the back throw. The Nest Classic will even things up stock-wise. Oh, man. And that Nair just is such a great tool at ledge. It just covers everything. It just covers everything. It's out for so long. Doing it again. Very ballsy. I want to see if, if, if Jackal comes up with an answer to that. He's been, he's been falling for that a lot. Yeah, you see him kind of waiting here. There you go. Yep, hanging around Wolf's shield and up smash not killing there at, you know, 140 plus. That's kind of surprising. Not like this. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, the back hit in there will connect once again. So Syrup forced to recover high. Nice use of the PK rock in there, but not going to get the meaty hitbox to kill. And just as I say that, I mean, uh, Syrup has been doing such a great job there. There's the stock. Closing it out almost just at 100%. Yeah, walking the dog. All of a sudden, Jackal looks like he's not in control at all. Ooh, but there we go. The F tilt will connect as Syrup tried to go for a re-grab scenario there. So, you know, last stock for both players here. And again, uh, whoever gets that initial hit seems to really extend that for a long oh, stretch of time. My okay. God, Ness Cloud? not being able to land. My man just took 83%. Holy. That God. was crazy. <laughs> you never see like wolf like vertical strings like Usually, that. Usually people can wild. just jump away, but I think Surf just lost <laughs> his resources early, and now this, you gotta think that he's nervous. I mean, this is this is gonna this is looking scary for him. No way! And <laughs> wow, Jackal with the great awareness there to hold down so that he doesn't snap the ledge and traded with the yo-yo was almost enough to take that stock. Yeah, I definitely got caught by surprise right there. I, I wasn't know. sure who died. Yeah, I was like, right? wait a second, did Wolf just <laughs> die to the yo-yo yeah. like at 70? Did I just get crossed up in real life? Ugh, not again, again, bro. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Jackal found the answer to that problem. And he was like, dude, this yo-yo thing's never going to work again. He really just hit him with that twice and it worked. Beautiful. Like, first time, shame on you. Second time, like, wow. Yeah. And again, what I said earlier, like, he, you'll notice that he waits a second and then he does the up B because... If the yo-yo's out for a little while, <laughs> the hitbox stops. <laughs> Can we take a look at that animation what, again? What is Wolf doing? Uh, uh, uh. There you go. Uh, duh, duh. Bro, that is the crustiest <laughs> animation I've ever seen, man. Nintendo did not finish this game. Look at that. <laughs> I can't. That's so funny. Look at he looks like he's doing Fox side beat. Oh, boy. It's like me playing with my action figures or something. Listen. Uh, it's like Wolf came in, like, he only has three poses. The action figure just yeah. has, like, <laughs> the one hand that goes like this and the other hand yep. that goes like this. We'll take a look at the exchange once again. Uh, listen, the great, great awareness from Jackal going for the fire wolf yeah. there uh, through the stage. The first time, just, you know, again, it caught us all by surprise, surprise. Like, yeah. we don't know who got hit by that and who died. Yeah. And even again, the second time, we both got got by that. It's like, really? Like, Get got. Yeah, but, uh, woof, I think we all need to towel off after that one. But first, we got to go to some ads. So, Glenn, uh, let's, let's pick an ad slide. Let's see where we want to go here. All right. Listen, if you guys are enjoying the show so far, look no... F and you want it... Was it, uh... Uh, Syrup. Syrup, Syrup. yeah. Yes, wow. and also he... You know, now we're in best of five territory. Um, so that's also just really exciting because I just... I personally like watching the problem solving, right? So... I want to see, you know, a best of five where you see people adapt to habits and figure out like, oh, this is what I could do against this. And that's to me what makes these games really exciting. And of course, these two players are really smart. So you're going to see some awesome stuff from both sides. I would love any song other than this right now. Oh, Lumio yeah. City is such a snores fest, but I don't care. There we go. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Devin. There you go. <laughs> Playing that good stuff. Oh, boy. Ooh. And getting, he's not going to die, but man. Th those details, man, they are insane. I mean, he could have he could have died, and then when he had to recover, he could have died again. Rob is just so threatening, man. Like, 
He's threatening on stage. He's threatening at the ledge. He's threatening off stage. I mean, this character is explosive and he can just kill you at any time. Yeah, again, it's going to be a similar situation where, like in uh, Winter Semis for VV here, where he's not going to be allowed much wiggle room here. You know, once Rob uh, gets those kill confirms, you are God, pretty much dead. That's got to be one of the fastest oh. turnaround down tilts I've ever seen in my life, man. This guy is auto turnaround as a player. Like, did you see that? <laughs> he, like, whiffed a nair and then just immediately detilted Lucario off stage, and that led to that stock there. And again, like what we said earlier, oh. Beautiful back air there from uh, from Vivi. One, one of the things that we mentioned earlier is how Lucario doesn't like characters that are, you know, can close out the stocks cleanly off of like grabs and stuff. Yeah. Uh, and Brob just happens to be that guy, man. He's that dude. Shows up to the club, just grabs everybody, <laughs> and everybody's oh upset. God. You know what I mean? He's that guy. Yeah, he's definitely that guy. Um, and also having you know two really good projectiles to play around with is also going to make things uh, pretty hard for Vivi here. Again, like you mentioned, Lucario is a is a character that thrives in these you know elongated stock situations because you know you want to take advantage of rage and aura uh, at the same time. But Rob is a character that, like we mentioned, does has no problems cleaning his plate uh, whenever the uh, the kill confirms uh, come a knock and. Yeah, I don't know if uh, licking the plate is the right metaphor. These guys definitely eat glue. So you mean like, you know, render that Elmer's jar completely empty. That's what you mean. They have no problem a, doing that. I mean, unless Rob has like a zip file of Elmer's glue, he has to like unlock on his mainframe. So the Zombos failed arts and crafts his whole life, man. He just can't get past the glue. Oh, uh, they definitely like the sparkly ones. And look at that. I mean, oh my God, dude. Dude, if Vivi's like really having to like try hard to get these back airs to really clean out these stocks, and then you see Zamba just come off the angel platform, he's like, dude, if I detail you, chances of you dying are extremely high. And if, if somehow you you don't miss the tech and I don't kill you off that, you're at the ledge now. I mean, this character, man, this Rob guy. Oh my god. This Rob guy, man. Yeah, Rob's a, a menace, man. Like you've seen, see these down tilts near the ledge has been hell for Vivi to get around as uh, Zamba at the ledge has been an absolute, uh, you know, no pun intended, a machine. Oh, boy. I mean, this is really, I, I, I hate to say it. I'm going to say it on the mic. I feel bad for Lucario, bro. Like, what? That's on record. I want oh everyone to know that God. is on the record. It just looked like once he starts getting hit, like, he's not, he's floaty, but also he's not, like, really small. So he's, like, a lot of the things Rob does is just, it was hard for him to not get two framed. He, VV had great awareness and mixed up his timing on recovery so that he didn't get down aired at the ledge once that whole game. Yep. But then, like, that still didn't matter. He still just got destroyed in every other way. I need Glenn saying he feels bad for Lucario. Oh, uh, boy. I, need, I need that in writing. I need that in in, in, in wave file. I need that out of context. What was Sakurai uh, for the rest of thinking? Life. He's like, all right, let's take a heavy, make him a zoner, also a grappler, and then give him the best recovery in the game. Yeah. And he has kill throws. I mean, Rob is essentially just like. <laughs> and he's a boxer. Yeah, Rob <laughs> plays a lot like what Smash World Lucario is like, where. You can't really play this character from a distance because you have projectiles that can be, you know, shot at you in and kind of force your uh, hand and approach. And playing him up close is incredibly awkward, like you said, because uh, Rob's boxing tools are very, very solid. So, you know, the only difference between that Rob's a little bit more complete of a character. Uh, but still, like we've, we've seen so far today, Zama's been playing like a man possessed as a Vivi. Uh, you know, already <laughs> looking a little... Uh, scuffed out here in this uh, first stock. Yeah, great recovery mix up there from VV. He's like, you know what? You're going to take the low road. I'm going to take the high road, buddy. And he just went right into him with that extreme speed. Right, oh, great just... call out there. Again, the, the turnarounds. I want to give Zamba credit, man. He has auto turnaround <laughs> as a player. He just did a turnaround F smash, like just like, like that. What a great, like, what great awareness. To be young, man. Oh, yeah, young. yeah. For <laughs> us, our reaction time is just getting, like, worse by the minute. Yeah. Like, since I started commentating to now, like, the game is just getting faster <laughs> and faster. I can't keep up with this, man. Yeah, I get one of those maybe, like, once a month. Yeah. <laughs> but nonetheless, though, uh, Vivi with, uh, you know, looking down the barrel of a potential 2-0 deficit here, but that back air will be a nice... You know, way to set things up as uh, Zamba recovering high. Lucario not really having, uh, gr you know, great means to, you know, get to up there. To go all the way up there. Yeah, I mean, if only he could shoot his R-Sphere directly up above his head. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, one of the interesting things is, like, we're seeing that the R-Sphere is really, like, the conditioning tool, right? And then you see that most of Vivi's stocks are him calling out a jump because he knows you're afraid of him shooting the R-Sphere to landing trap you. So you'll notice he's always calling out jumps and getting back airs. But that's really how he's getting most of his stocks, and I, I'm not sure 
if that's enough. You know, like, someone like Zamba will catch on to that. Oh, boy, that gyro. Zamba getting hit by his own gyro is hilarious. <laughs> I just want to say one thing real quick. If you bought a Rob in the 80s, <laughs> it came with six gyros. Yeah. Why does he have a million in this game? Like, let's just <laughs> nerf that. He should have unlimited gyro, man. That is... It's too much. He should load them as slowly as the original Rob does. Dude, he should run out of batteries. This character is broken. <laughs> there should be some kind of meter that, that like, stops him. It's called the video game strike in the 80s. So You should be able to time out the battery, man. If you could get three minutes in, one of those Duracell needs to be switched. Oh Mid-game. <laughs> Dude, unplug this, man. I mean, batteries are canon, uh, you know, thanks to Pikmin. Oh, Ooh. wow. And that counter did not kill. Not even close. Yeah, that was uh, oddly low powered. As uh, again, uh, Vivi having a rough uh, go of it here. Like we said, this is best of five territory. But man, it it's really looking tough. I think I think if this game ends anytime soon, we're seeing the hero. It's it's possible. You know, maybe uh, if, maybe it changes scenarios exactly what uh, Vivi needs. But like, again, like we mentioned, Azama's just been all, all on him, like a you know, like a bad rash or something. Like it's not what they're yeah, good I for. mean, it, it, great. This is the stock right here. GG, shake my robotic hand. We're going to a game three. I was going to say, it seems offensive to call it a hand. Like. <laughs> my arm. Man, Our this, this, uh, the steel type, can he steal the stocks? Or Oof. will he be robbed? Uh oh. I, the puns are getting worse, guys. God, I hate you. Can I get a, can I get a boo from the audience, please? <laughs> nice. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Slippy Toad liked that one, all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, no, it looks like Lucario will be, uh, you know, man for at least the third game here. So, you know, no hero coming out from VV. Probably thinking, all right, you know, if I'm, I feel like a slower, you know, uh, character like um, Hero's not gonna really gonna do VV any favors here. Dude, can we talk about, he, he just did, he hit him like four times, three, two, one, go, and he's just in him, right? He did 33%. <laughs> That is pathetic. Rob literally hits you twice and you're at like 40. Yeah. This is why they give him the aura because they're like, all right, he's kind of pathetic at the beginning of the game. Yeah, th that, I'm this sure that's is... exactly why. That is literally <laughs> why. They're like, he's just so pathetic that they're like, all right, let's just make him late game. He's just such a monster. He's a closer. He's a closer. Oh, boy, man. And I mean, Zama just looks so comfortable. I mean, this is one of those things where... I mean, Vivi started off pretty strong, but I mean, the damage output is just too... You know, the thing about being one of those late... One of those characters like Lucario that it gets stronger later is that by that time, like, you have to clutch it out because the, you've given the guy the, the stock lead the entire game. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, you're never going to have a, a, a stock lead. It's very hard for you to have, like, a big advantage Ooh. early on. And look at that. The counter did not even kill him at 130. He went straight up. Yeah, or almost straight up. That, that's... It's it's weird. That move definitely has its utilities, but definitely has not looked impressive to both times it's connected. And that is a no stock. Way. Oh, it's not. Okay. No, but it's big damage coming up for Zamba. Oh, that was definitely supposed to be a side V. <laughs> Unless that was the most dis disrespectful laser of, of all time. Yeah, I mean, Zamba conditioning there, doing the downer again, and then he, he, he meant to go off stage <laughs> and do the side V. Mercy. Man, this is just getting worse and worse. I think Vivi might have... He might have wanted to go hero at this point, but who knows? I mean, it might be just as bad, so. Yeah, whatever it, uh, it is, Zama definitely has cracked the code on Lucario. Down air to the force palm, not going to be enough. Uh, 164 on Rob's tab right now. Okay, that was going to say, next solid great hit. Great call out. Yeah. yeah, great call out there from Vivi getting that up there. But, man, I mean, even with all this, uh, you know, aura, it's just hard for him to land. It's hard for him to get to get off the ledge. It's hard for him to recover. It's hard for him to play neutral. I don't see really where this character can even start to fight Rob. There you go. Dash Attack is going to force a high recovery from Vivi. Able to get back to the, uh, you know, center of the stage. But still, like we mentioned, is it too little too late right now for one? I mean, he got that he, he, he got that grab there, and then he just didn't really have... He didn't get anything out of it. You know what I mean? I mean... You didn't get anything out of it. Sheesh. 3-0 and a successful fist bump. A solid, right? yeah, that solid, was a good solid, solid. fist bump. Yeah, so excellent stuff right there from Zamba advancing on into winner's side of grand finals here. At, uh, take a look at this replay here. Okay. 
What? Yeah, he. Yep, yep the upper is going to connect. It's going to uh, kill him. We take a look at the form <laughs> here. Look at that. And solid. Look at that connection right there. Perfect. Yeah. See, right? N not, not like, kn knuckle on knuckle yeah, right there. You got to make perfect, sure. Yeah. Perfect, pump, per yeah. perfect little uh, fist bump there. Just, yes, yeah. You can tell they've done that many times. They've rehearsed that many times. <laughs> they probably it played should a be agreed, times. It should be agreed upon, like, in, in the pre. You know, match stuff to say. Okay, I'm gonna go this character. I'm gonna ban this stage. Also, I'm gonna. I'm a fist bump guy, not a handshake yeah. guy. You know, dude. Post COVID, we're all fist bump guys. If you're a handshake guy, post pandemic, you you need help. All right, <laughs> like that's just insane. I don't want to see any of this. I don't want to see any of, of of what came out on top. As a Rick Belmont player myself, right? Uh, this matchup is Ricky. hard. Yeah, this, this matchup is uh, hard. Uh, you know, rocking the the green outfit, aka as Hazmat once put it, the pickle Richter. So. <laughs> So, uh, oh boy, we'll see how it shakes out here, man. This, this matchup is is hard for the Belmonts. Any sort of character with like insane offstage presence can really give these characters as, fits. As you say that, Dark Falcon off to a really good start, calling out all those jumps. I mean, that's the thing is that the zoners in this game, you know, they're they throw a projectile out, right? And then they they make you want to jump, and their whole game is to anti air you. The way to beat zoners is that you don't jump, but then you're left with, okay, what do I do? Do yep. I shield? Do I just stand here? But the thing is, Wolf has a reflector. Wolf has a laser. And Jude Jackal opting to not even use that stuff. He's just, he's like, you know what? I'm just going to take a bunch of hits. But when I get in, I'm going to do a million damage and possibly kill this yeah. character. Sometimes it's not even worth going for the reflector because, like, the cross on the back hit doesn't really do that much. Yeah. Um, the things you really have to be mindful of, obviously, are the holy water at the ledge. Holy water, one of the best projectiles that the Belmonts have to play with. But, you know, if you know the counterplay to it, uh, it's really not that bad. Uh, Especially in a scenario like this, you know, the, the Belmonts are, you know, pretty slow off stage. Uh, fighting the Belmonts is a lot like fighting, like, a lesser version of Snake. You know, when you're in disadvantage, as the backer will kill right there, when you're in disadvantage against the Belmonts, it sucks. It feels like it's never going to end. Right. When they're in disadvantage, they can die off the yeah, way it's like, change. how do I lose when I'm doing this to you, yeah. you know? And the thing is, I was actually just talking to Jackal about this earlier today. He was saying how, like, his new mentality against zoners in general is, like, in Ultimate, you just have to play the mini game with them. I, but too often do people try to like camp them out and, and force them to approach. In this game, they have the tools for that. You don't want to necessarily like the counterplay isn't to camp them out. You just have to play their mini game and play it better than them. And when you finally get an advantage, you have to close out those stocks, ledge trap them to death, don't let them land. Yep. And we're seeing Jude, we're seeing Jackal do that. He hasn't really shot the laser, he hasn't really used the reflector, he's just going in there. Yeah, listen, that's what you can you know, can do. This is definitely a matchup where if you're, you know, Richter, you definitely may uh, lean more on your normals, you know, using more whip than you are projectile because there yeah. is that ever looming factor of the reflector. Uh, but Dark Falcon's doing a good job, you know, finding a good middle ground between both. But still, you know, it is Jackal that is winning the percent game right now. I mean, the thing about Jackal is, I mean, he is, uh, ooh, I mean, he is just doing such a great job of like, he gets in and it's like, all right, man, you're taking a 140. You know what I mean? Great recovery there, avoiding the ax and the holy water. Yeah, again. That like holy Brita yeah. that you get that holy water from. <laughs> That's, I, I'm just, I need a mod of, of uh, Rick just throwing a, a, like, a pitcher, like, at you. Uh. <laughs> Richter's definitely the spokesperson for the Holy Brita. He's like, yo, just hook this up to your New York yeah. tap, bro. Yeah. An underrated, okay, the dash attack will kill right Beautiful. there. I was going to say, an underrated aspect of the Belmonts is that they are very, very heavy. They're, like, right outside of that range of, like, the, of the, you know, the big heavyweight characters. So they definitely uh, have some durability to them. But, you know, the counter to that is that, you know, their recovery isn't that great. So you don't right. really get to see that showcased very often. So I mean, what you're seeing here is that people often fight a zoner like Richter or like Samus, and they respect everything. And Jude is like, no, the way that you have to do this is you have to disrespect them. And Wolf has better buttons. I'm going to show you that. And he's just... He's chasing him. Like, he's chasing yeah. him and winning. Like, he does not care. Most people would just opt for stage control. And it's like, no, dude, against these zoners, you got to smother them. you got to get in there. And that was a perfect example of that right there. Yep. Yeah. As you see, these slant stages being banned from Jackal here. And again... Uh, Banning you know, Lila and banning Yoshis. Yep, yeah, you see Jackal, some excellent. One. Look at that. Two. Three, three. smacks. <laughs> and perfect timing on that the third one. Just to, yeah, the, the cross was on the back swing there. So. Yeah, and it's like, did he Z axis through it? Yeah. Like, he just matrix through it? Ah, ah, ah. That was ah. beautiful. Beautiful play from uh, Jackal. I mean, it's funny. I mean, this is Whoa. Losers Finals, but he. 
he's looking like so comfortable, man. Like this has been a really stacked bracket. I mean, there are people losers finals. Like, yep. okay, so Mr. E, Sinji, uh, a bunch of other players did not yeah. make it to losers finals. This, this is, is losers semis. Losers finals coming up next. Oh, losers finals on deck. Yeah. I apologize. Now keep in mind, this is a three. This is a best two out of three. So Jackal wins this next game. Yeah. Uh, he has advanced on to best three out of five territory uh, against Vivi. So. You know, we'll see how it shakes down here. I think the stage is great for Richter. You know, you have a small, you know, smaller uh, area that your uh, projectiles can control, and you have the added benefit of a platform above you. So definitely protects you against characters, you know, Tom Hawking in on top of you. So we'll see how it shakes out here for Dark Falcon, or if uh, Jackal will again crack the code on uh, fighting the Vampire Killer. Yeah, he's like, bro, I am not a vampire. <laughs> like, I'm literally just a wolf, <laughs> dude. Like, like none of this matters. Like, yeah. holy water. Ross could be doing wolf. Enemy. Well, there are low levels in Castlevania, so... Man, and you know what's what's been interesting is that we really haven't seen Jackal lose a single stock to the Holy Water at the ledge. Like, usually, you'll see, like, that ledge trap is very effective, and it'll lead to an F-Smash, and that's how a lot of Richters and Simons take stocks, but it hasn't really been working out. He's been mixing up his recovery, he's been mixing up his timing, and he's been avoiding that setup altogether. Yeah, outside of that one exchange where he got nicked by it and died to the F-Tilt, he's really uh, done all right, and... Yeah. Yep. Unfortunately, for Dark Falcon, up Esports Creek without a paddle. Uh, you know, unfortunately, when when the Richter, when the Belmonts, you know, are forced to use a resource, their uh, you know their range isn't necessarily. Uh, you know, when they're down that low, it's really hard to get back to the stage. So yeah, great tomahawk grab there earlier that led to all this damage that we're seeing right now. I mean, I think Dark Falcon just thought, all right, he's gonna land with another fair, and every now and then, Jude Jackal will just like land with a with no aerial and just grab it. I love I love watching the RPS of that, just yeah. conditioning it and then doing the other option. Ooh, Jackal's gonna miss his grab there, so Dark Falcon gonna be able to advance forward with the down tilt. Now has the ledge trap on deck here. Oh, there we go! Oh, there Great we go! Stuff. He got yep. it there. That was that was really nice that he angled the uh, he angled the back air yes. to hit below the ledge. Yeah, that's a, definitely an underrated uh, you know Belmont uh, kill confirm at the ledge because like you said, people are so used to seeing the uh, the holy water to the F smash that you have to really you know kind of mix up your uh, your kill confirms right there, and that's definitely one of them that you see utilize a lot. And that's a stock doing an up B on block that is not safe, my guy. Send, he sent them all the way in that star KO, like to Tom Nook. He's like, bro, get out of here. Yeah, so again, the, the, the scary part about the Belmont clan is that at any percent, you can literally die, especially in a matchup like this, where all, Jude, all Jack has to do is just kind of, you know, catch uh, Richter using a, a, a resource. And uh, all he has to do is just drop down with an air, and it's pretty much GG's at that point. Yeah, I mean, one of the things that we're seeing is so scary. Oh, he got no, the fair man. to dip back air. Oh, boy. And you can see Dark Falcon is deflated, bro. He felt that bear in his chest. Yeah. He was like, bro. Why'd you do that, man? Yeah. He memed on me. And I mean, the Blast Zones are really close to uh, the ledge on Smashville. So, my guy. Yeah, so, take a look here. Jackal with look at the this. forward throw. You miss, you teched in place, and then you got forward air to raw bear. Oh. Yeah, Richter looks like he's in pain when he gets hit by that. And we say, Dude. That, that's, that was rough, man. He's not a light character. For him to die at one. He's just died yeah, at 105 like after number the number eight, hit. like, in regards to, like, total weight. Yeah, like, he's, he's not he's a, a stocky he's not a, boy. He's My a bulky boy. He's ripped. Yeah. Shout out. But we'll, it should have been Alucard. But we'll Alucard, the world's not ready for Alucard. Y'all aren't ready for Alucard. He would have been bu 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 broken. Yeah. <laughs> All right. And we're jumping right in right here. Losers. Finals. Best of five. We're going to see Vivi against Jackal. Yeah, this is definitely going to be an interesting matchup between these two. Again, Wolf's another one of those characters that doesn't really have to worry about, you know, oh, you know, I don't have to worry about playing with my food for too long because Wolf is so explosive in these, uh, you know, ledge trap scenarios. Man, so. his bear also just kills, like, a sub-100. Like, the bear is so strong, man. It's, it's such a great move. Yeah, we could be uh, very close to seeing uh, Glenn's 20 bucks come into fruition here. So. <laughs> well, yeah, Jackal just has to win one set for me to make that money, guys. So let's make it happen. <laughs> but I don't know. We're not going to sleep on Vivi, you know what I mean? No, like, you can't. He's been playing great this whole tournament. and But one thing I'll say, man, like, Jackal's playing so confident. I really like how he's, he's fighting everyone. He's not... People sometimes give him a reputation of like, oh, he still kind of plays like a Sonic main where he'll laser camp you or whatever. I'm like, every set I've seen him in so far, he's just been smothering these players. Yeah. 
Wolf definitely has the means to, you know, take over a game with some raw aggression. Like you mentioned, neutral air, so huge in that. And uh, Wolf has the benefit that a lot of his aerials at low percents all fall up into grabs. So, you know, Jackal gets a lot of opportunities to just kind of reset neutral and, you know, reset his stage advantage. So, Can we talk about how Wolf's double jump is literally he turns into a morph ball like i just saw that like vv was looking at this man like mixing up jumps in his face and he's like dude i'm not gonna try to hit that like i'm gonna get forward aired and that's a combo starter like this character is really good man and of course jackal is is uh just making excellent use of all of this stuff all right, the very tip of neutral are going to connect right there. Vivi going to get hit by that back here in the middle of the stage. Jackal looking like uh, a man possessed right now. Jackal is ups Dude, this man is angry that he's in losers. Like, he is not. He's winning this tournament. That's his mindset. We're, we're witnessing a guy who's like, there's no way I'm losing this. That's the anime Absolutely protagonist in a man. Absolutely not losing. I mean, that's the sign of, like, a really good top player is, like, you remember, like, losers, Nairo, losers, MKLeo. These yep. are guys. They became different people yeah. and this is losers jackal yeah you gotta have to lose yourself in these situations where you have to kind of let the uh the beast take over and, and jackal definitely doing so in spades it's vv having a rough time uh, still trying to get on the board here dude yeah he's having a hard time taking the stock and just as we say that almost gets it nice covering the uh low recovery there with the r sphere i think uh jackal just was caught off guard there because he could have just reflected it and still recovered but he wasn't ready for that all right, let's see what the response is going to be from Vivi here. Again, down uh, pretty heavy here in the second game. And we've seen so far that Wolf does not need a whole lot to uh, get these uh, you know, kill confirms to uh, start killing. Yeah, w one of the things I'm noticing is also that people are second-guessing their ledge trapping against Wolf because his airspeed is so good and his aerials are all really good. His forward air is, like, huge. And I just noticed that Vivi's, like, not trying to call out the jump because he's playing a floaty character and it's actually easier for it to turn around. And just as I say that, he just perfectly, beautifully does that down air to two frame is up B. Yeah, and just Take like that, that stock out. you know, just what? like that, Glenn, we're back in a scenario where things can be... What happened to that stock? Yeah. That stock is gone. Yeah. I just started talking. <laughs> Dude. It'd be like that sometimes, man. Oh, boy. All right, so Vivi, I mean, looking scary again now. Ooh, good parry, but not in a good position to get the follow-up out of it. So, again... You know, Jackal definitely cannot sleep uh, on Lucario. Uh oh, that uh, shield looking really small. He's going to go for the grab. He actually, VV, great awareness. He spot dodged that grab. Ooh, Jackal trying to upbeat past the ledge once again. Going to get caught by the Aura Sphere. And just like that, we are back in even-ish grounds. What? And he... Wow. Wow. That stinks. Wow. And VV, I think commentator's curse, man. He heard me, and he's like, bro, shut up. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> it's like, shut I hate up, Glenn. dude. I'm literally going to win this game. Like, just shut up. <laughs> Dude, that's what happens sometimes against, uh, you know, th that happens a lot in the Lucario matches, like we mentioned. You cannot get too comfortable. It looks like Jackal tried a couple times right there. He's showing his hand, trying to go m past the ledge maybe to catch, uh, yeah. you know, VV falling asleep there. And, you know, unfortunately, Wolf, without any resources, you know, forced to side me back to the ledge. Uh, you, you know, know I, 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 I also think what happened there is that also VV just had a great, he had awareness of the fact that, Jackal was playing really aggressive and always approaching. And he was like, all right, I think I'll just play a little more bait and punish. And I think Jackal just missed when the phase the, the phase of play shifted there. I think he yep. didn't need to keep approaching as much as he, with, with such a big lead. Um, but he was just, I mean, he's he's really angry. <laughs> yeah. He's, he's foaming at the mouth, man. He just wants to kill this Lucario. Yeah, the Glintendo so. classic of, I lost this game. Somehow, yeah. <laughs> You're right. Oh my God, I cursed my boy, man. Why? You're right. The commentator's curse is one thing. The Glintendo, the Glintendo commentator's curse. How did I lose yeah. this game when you, you take a screenshot of being up three stocks and you somehow lost a last hit scenario? Oh, boy. All that right, Jackal trying to cover maybe a spot there or a jump there. Out of shield. Didn't get it. VV, great awareness. Stay in shield. VV's doing a great job, I want to say, of like... Jackal's trying to cover the next thing. He's conditioning things on block, and then he's trying to cover the next thing. And VV hasn't fallen for any of it. He knew when he was going to go for a grab and spot dodge. He knew when he was going for to call out the jump, and he didn't jump. Did a great job. Yeah, again, listen, the longer that VV's able to hang around, the better it's going to be for him. You know, we've seen uh, VV take stocks at, you know, this percent, anywhere from between 50 and 70. Uh, it's been very, very beneficial for him. There wow, we go. The that was to the up air. Charging the R-Sphere, calling out the jump out with another jump charge R-Sphere to an up air confirm. Wow, that was really nice. Yeah, the dash and attack will connect. Getting dash attacked. It's like, where are you going, bro? Yeah. If at first you don't succeed, 
that should act the other direction. <laughs> oh boy, that fair just barely not hitting Lucario. What the heck was that? Yeah, great, you know, micro spacing right there from Vivi in close quarters and, you know, the quick succession fairs of his own. You know, uh, again, it's a low percent, you know, it's not gonna look super impressive for Vivi, but uh, listen, any damage is good damage. Man, we're seeing some really suspect, like, hurtbox shifting stuff right now. We just saw that uh, Jackal got two fairs, went for a grab, and even though Lucario was literally right in front of him, the grab somehow whiffed. And this should be a stock, but... All right, Vivi, that was really smart on Vivi's part to recover high. Even though he got punished, he didn't die. And it, the other option was to possibly die to the two-frame down smash at the ledge. So it worked out in his favor. And, oh, okay. Yeah, both players swinging uh, heavily in each other's face right there. Good read on, on the tech in place from Jackal. Going to get the F-tilt, so Vivi on uh, his last stock here in game two. And this Mario music is just, <laughs> it's just taking hilarious. It's like, all right, man, like we're on Final Destination, and it's like epic yeah. background, and they just hear <laughs> Mario music. This is purgatory. This is hell. Yeah. <laughs> all right, great uh, anti-air there from Jude, from Jackal, getting three or four fares, and now, like, again. They're going to get the back throw here for stage positioning. So Vivi, uh, you're very much in the danger zone right here, but... Again, you can't sleep on Lucario, Glenn. This is he going to get it? Oh, not getting it this time. I think you're right. Maybe he got it last game two times because Jackal held down and tried to hit him with his upbeat. And that is a stock. Somehow he ended up... I, I wonder... All right, VV, I respect him as a player, so I, I'm assuming he did that on purpose. He upbeat into the stage and bounced onto the, the ledge there. Yeah. He didn't grab. The, the ledge, which I'm assuming he just did that on purpose, even though it looks a little weird. I've never actually seen that. I think it was one of those things where maybe VV was trying to go, like, slightly past the ledge and maybe just accidentally just, like, prop himself up just, like, right there. Yeah. So, I could... think he did it maybe on purpose as a mix-up because his recoveries have been so, like, yeah. he's been mixing up his recovery really good the entire tournament, so. I mean, Lucario's extreme speed gets, like, so, like, chaotic when, you know, the higher yeah. percents are reached. So, like, right. there's instances where, like, I've, I've seen Lucario I mean, try to, like, recover from low and they just, like, shoot themselves off into the moon. <laughs> yeah, right. Like an acne cartoon character or something. Like, Yeah, Jeff Bezos is going to ride a uh, Max Rage Lucario to space. <laughs> All thanks to you, the Amazon. Yeah, employees. Elon Musk is investing in that Max Rage Lucario. <laughs> Even the Simpsons could have predicted that one. All right, Smashville. And, of course, Jackal's looking at for that fair at early percent. Get that beginning. Get his bread and butter. Get that bread and butter 70%. You know what I mean? Like, yep. it's so funny, man. A fair, like, from Wolf is so scary to get hit by. Yeah. Again, Wolf's aerials at low percents are so um, crazy good. You know, again, they lead into the grabs, and at, oh. the, at the mid percent, they uh, are very, very strong as well. Yeah, I mean, wow. And and uh, Vivi's doing such a great job of playing around that fair. Like, he hasn't really been getting hit by them. We just saw him spot dodge one of them. Ooh, and he still... Sheesh. He died? He is deceased from that? Dude! Yeah, that, was, that was definitely super effective, for sure. I want to wow. say that that was sus DI, because I'm, I'm, like, shocked that that killed. Like, and, I, and you already know, like, I'm never shocked the wolf kills you with bear. <laughs> Holy crap, man. That guy exploded. Yeah, again, good trade right there for Vivi as Jackal once again, putting on a great uh, mid-percent clinic right now on Vivi. Also, let's not pretend that we didn't notice the uh, counter pick of the color from Vivi. He's, he's green now. He's green. I, I, hate, I hate this color so much. But yeah. <laughs> not a I'm, I'm just not a fan of green. Ooh, okay, good extreme speed into Wolf, anticipating to down smash uh, to two-frame the recovery right there. You know what? That's one of those situations where I feel like it's still just worth it to cover to do the down smash and cover the two frame because getting hit from the extreme speed at, at that percent you're not going to die and it's i think what he wants you to do is to hold shield and let him recover normally so to keep that threat up is is smart from uh, jackal i feel like he's just going to keep trying to go for the down smash and where are you trying to land son i have this boot yeah that's boot uh wolf with the uh space age uh doc martens on that dash attack will uh, open up a big lead here but we saw in that first game jackal had a huge lead the Glenn. edgy doc martens bro yeah. he has like the spikes on him and everything wolf is definitely into some sus stuff on the side <laughs> Ooh, okay good grab there from jackal and again like i was saying you know we've seen this lead 
before from Jackal, and VG was able to rebound nicely, but Jackal looking a Good. little bit more put together. Here. Great weight there. I mean, it, one of the things that, that uh, I noticed Zamba did, and, and now we're seeing Jackal do it, is that when Lucario's at disadvantage above the stage, a lot of the, they're just waiting, because they know he has to use up his options. It, sometimes he wants you to jump up there and think that you can hit him one more time before he lands, and then they'll turn into you getting your stock deleted. Yeah, absolutely. And Jackal just waiting there and covering that. Be very careful. A good back throw from Vivi. <laughs> He's just like, bro. <laughs> Quick draw. Take this gun. Oh, oh geez, and there it is again. Bro. That confirm again, man. Don't, you can't jump from ledge. And that covers neutral getup, so you're going to have to roll. And obviously, he can shoot the aura if he reacts to that. So, charging aura, that B reverse charge there, that covers a lot of ledge options, man. That's a really good ledge trap. Yeah, Jackal, one solid hit away from going up in the rubber game here. But Vivi, again, does not need much to finish this out himself. So let's see what's going to end up giving here. Oh, finally, recovering to the ledge. That's the first time in a while that he didn't just go right onto stage. And getting hit in the face with that back air. And it's Jackal so goes up 2-1. Let's see what happens. <laughs> and we get the BM uh, victory screen from uh, Wolf, the backhanded comment. You're good, but I'm better. Dude, this whole scenario is so scary. Not getting the strong hit of dash that could have been bad for Jackal. Let's see what ends up happening here, actually. Wow, and that uh, wolf move whiffing? I have cannot believe I just saw that. Those moves don't whiff, man. They're all huge. Yeah, Vivi's going <laughs> to jump in here. Oh, Get try to go for the hit. neutral air, but Jackal yes. dropping through the platform with the bear. That was going to uh, close things out You can't there. commit to a full drift aerial from that far away, and we're seeing the hero. Yeah. So, Vivi definitely holding out for a hero here. And the shield. <laughs> that classic uh, Legend of Zelda shield tech. Stand still it's and so absorb funny, the man. projectile. It's so good. All right, well, let's see if the change to hero here makes a difference here for... Uh, for Jackal. Jackal, again, a, you know, a, you know, a friend and constituent of Silvio, the other local hero player yes. in the New York City area. So, you know, I'm, I'm sure, uh, rhythmically, you know, I'm sure Jackal is, uh, knows what to expect from this character. But again, it is hero, the X factor of everything is always in play here. You know, so. the thing that I'm noticing is that a lot of these matchups for uh, Jackal as a wolf main, it's just characters that he just gets to smother that can't deal with his insane air drift and insane aerials. What? And just as I say that, I don't know what I just saw. It what did like, he hit him with? It looked like down smash or back air that like poked through the ledge there. That wow. was gnarly. But as we say that, you know, he is, you know, Hero is being smothered here, but it, it's basically even. I mean, this is, this is not, it's not like VV isn't fighting back and doing a great job of just, you know, keeping up. Yeah, okay, Zoom once again uh, is going to buy VV a, you know, trip back to center stage. And the bounce on deck is going to prevent Jackal from, you know, uh, projectile camping here, so. Man, and have you noticed, like, we have not really seen a lot of laser. We really just haven't. And, like, even against Lucario, Lucario doesn't even have a reflector. Oof. Great landing trap there. Got that classic link dash attack. <laughs> <laughs> so good, man. Get it's great. Job, it's man. really strong. You try to land, and that dash attack will catch you. Yeah, especially with a stat boosted hero. You know, with the with it, whether it's oomph for psych up. You know, this character definitely has a plethora of options to, uh, you know, to really make things hurt. All right, and VV finally getting off that ledge, getting out of the corner only to be right back off stage. Doesn't have zoom. He's gonna have to go back to the ledge. Is he gonna die re-grabbing? Yes, he is. He was praying for the for the zoom. He was like, let yeah. me just drop off. I don't wanna get back here by Wolf. Sometimes that's your best option. You have to kind of just roll for it. And, uh, you know, sometimes Pray you... that you get lucky, yeah. Pray that it's on the menu. <laughs> it's, a, it's a special only. Bounce on deck, but again, Jackal hasn't been using laser. The bounce is really not going to do much here. I mean, then again, I've heard from Hero Mains that they like to just even... There's a meme that like, oh Ooh. my god, getting That's forward air to back air. Oh boy. No, but I understand what you're trying to say. It's the, the, the meme is, go, yeah. yeah, the meme is that, you know, the heroes are so stupid that they'll use bounce even against Little Mac. And Little Mac obviously has no projectiles, but I was told... It's because they want to cycle through the menu. Yeah, yeah. It, it opens up more things for you to find on your menu. So, yeah. so now yeah. you know, you know, bounce will not be on your menu the following turn. Exactly. Oh boy. Oh, that was a dangerous lineup right there. Uh, yeah, for... and, and Jackal's showing no fear. He's like, yeah, I looked at the menu. Don't yeah. want anything on it. I'm I'll, good. I'll just get fries. Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm just gonna come down with this nair. 
this Nair that hits above me somehow. I'm going to be careful, though. Psycho oof on deck. It's going to provide a nice little stat boost here for Vivi, but not really been a huge factor here for Jackal or against Jackal so far. Man, and good stuff for Vivi. I mean, he's, he's really keeping this close. This is basically even. This is not really Jackal's game just yet. Yeah, again, uh, only up by about 30 ish percent uh, right now. I oh am my so gosh. scared for both of these players. Didn't get a miss. Oh, VB failing to punish that whiffed uh, uh, up smash. And now you got to think that Jackal's just scared of what's coming up on this menu. It could be anything. Oh boy. And he's going Whoa. off stage. He goes deep for it. Misses. Yeah, They're in a scramble. Oh boy. And if he can get just. His, and yeah. he's gonna just get the forward throw. Yeah, the psyched up forward throw. Uh, usually you see that in, in conjunction with the up throw. Uh, but right there, you see VB just again wasting no time on a regular get up. And Accelerattle could have been a huge uh, X factor there in that exchange as well. You see, gets the psych up on deck. Jackal trying to react quickly. And gets. Uh, <laughs> 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 Woo! Oh boy, to the end zone, bro. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> he just spiked the football in the end zone, man. He just took Jude and spiked him. Shades of Charlie Brown on yeah. Thanksgiving. So. All right, so game five between these two. First game five we've seen in the best of five format. The winner of this, again, has a date with Zamba in Ooh. Oh uh, boy, and, and Vivi starting off super explosive. I mean, damn, he almost took that stock in under 15 seconds. That was insane. Yeah, no, that was uh, crazy, man. Again, Hero, not necessarily known as the most explosive character, but, you know, no pun intended, does have some explosive moves right. uh, at their disposal. So, you know, if the menu rolls uh, right in your direction, uh, it could definitely spell curtains for you as Jackal yeah. going to lose that first stock. And, uh, you know, Vivi looking pretty solid right now. To change uh, to Hero, it looks like it's been, you know, uh, beneficial so man, far. Man, and Jackal's sticking to his game plan. I mean, it, he got punished for those drop-down nares a few times. And he's like, you know what, dude? This works 8 out of 10 times. I'm still going to go for it. Like, he, he literally lost his stock for it. He's like, nope, I'm sticking to my plan. I'm smothering you with nair. I'm just going to approach with a falling aerial. There it is. At the beginning of the game, all he wants is fair. That's literally all he wants at the beginning of yeah. your stock. So, man. And now this turned around so fast, man. Like, first 15 seconds, VB came out, and he just de deleted that stock. Like, it, it, it was amazing. And then now we're seeing a complete reversal. Yeah, that's it. That's just, you know, the ebb and flows of the match, man. Sometimes, you know, Hero, there's some matchups where, you know, you look really, really solid, and then there's certain characters that just kind of feel like they, like, invalidate you. And, yep, no, no zoom on. Zoom. Yep, no. <laughs> of course, zoom not working right there. Uh, webcam not re uh, being received as DB going to lose that stock there. So, Jack, like you said, you know, looked uh, pretty rough in that first stock, but has since uh, right at the shift, now has a two stock lead. Yeah, I want to say that also, you know, VB hasn't been getting these really great rolls. It seems like he hasn't, he's just been getting, like, you know, bounce and psych up, but he hasn't gotten, like, kaboom or any of the more insane. I haven't really, we haven't seen a magic burst or anything this whole yeah. set, you know? Um, and, and I got to wonder if that's maybe why Jude is still not, like, Jackal's still not afraid. He's just kind of like, forget it. I'm just I'm smothering you with Nair. I'm sticking to it. Look at this Nair. This Nair is doing so much work right now. Look at that. Yeah. He's yeah. got like four Nairs in like the last two seconds. Ooh, gets a heal on deck though, so he's going to heal a little bit of percent, but is it too little too late? Not going to get the sweet spot of that back air. Oh, and Jackal with the disrespect. He's like, bro, I'm up a stock. You have to up B. Up B into this downer, my guy. Oof. Mercy. Jackal looking, uh, again, this awfully solid. This man's angry. This He's... man is angry. Look at that. Rah! Shaklackety. Hulk, Hulk oh. smash. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful stuff from Jackal. And now we get to find out if I'm making that extra 20. Is dinner on me tonight or is it on the poor soul who bet against jackal against zamba scratch where i remember zamba just complaining about how he f zamba fell out i mean uh, jackal fell out of one of rob's side bees and then killed him yeah yes <laughs> famous on twitter if you guys follow yeah. these two players one of, one, of, one of definitely in the museum of zamba uh in the player cam looking awfully upset <laughs> zamba uh, has pictures. the best reactions on player cam dude he really does there's like 40 memes of him just staring at the player cam <laughs> they're, they're all used very frequently in our group chats for sure but listen we'll see how it shakes out here man you know i know these two have frequented again a lot of fusions i know jack was one of fusion zamba's one of fusion 
I could not tell you, to be honest with you, if they played each other or if they beat each other. All I can say is that literally today, Zamba was like, I hope Jackal makes it into Summit so that I can farm fusion. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, man. <laughs> He's like, I just don't want to fight Jackal anymore. But again, Jackal's gonna have to beat Zamba not once, but twice to win this tournament. So Zamba definitely has the wind at his back. And I mean, with dead even game right now, they're literally back to dead even. They were at 81, and then Zamba put him at 91, and then Jackal put him at 91. Is he gonna put him at 115? No, he isn't, okay. <laughs> I just noticed what Devin did with Jackal's name and the, with, with the L and loser's bracket and just put a pressure system. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. You didn't think I wanted to catch that, but I got you. Oh, boy. This is really scary now for Wolf. Can he recover around Rob? And yes, he can. What he does is he mixes up his timing. Instead of doing the flash, he put himself in the position where he would flash, but he just did a delayed up B. And that way, Zamba was kind of mixed up. He did the downer a little too early, expecting the flash. Jackal's so good at that. You gotta yeah. pay attention to how he mixes up the his his recovery. If you're gonna play Wolf, you have to really be good at recovering. Yeah, no, for sure. You definitely don't want to get too predictable with, with your recovery options. And, you know, Jackal's done a good job avoiding these, you know, uh, long extended stays at the ledge against Rob as well. Zamba's proven all day that he's been very, uh, you know, inept and solid at, you know, closing out these stock meters oh, on the ledge. beautiful, like, just tomahawk in your face and then grab you back throw. I was actually kind of a little surprised, even though he was at 193, just because he was in the middle of stage. Ooh. And Zamba going, dude, no backsies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna down air you right now. Yeah, I know you are, but what am I? Yeah, that was great adjustment too from Zamba because he, he basically put Jackal in the same scenario that he did last stock, but he actually just covered the timing and got that actual down air. Ooh, uh -oh. okay. Gonna get the fair of the back air. Just gonna be solid damage here for Jackal, but. Uh, That's not safe, my guy. You cannot dash attack me. And is Zamba gonna do the Zamba roll from ledge? Let's find out. Oh, no, he's not. He actually is picking aggressive options. The Zamba roll in from ledge, there it is. He's gonna do it every time. Every time he's under the platform, he's gonna do a move and then roll in. Again, <laughs> Another roll. <laughs> Jackal's gonna catch up to it. Watch, he's gonna catch onto it and he's gonna lose the stock for it. All right, gets the forward throw. Good parry again on the fair. You know, both these characters definitely getting a lot out of parries on their landing aerial options. Ooh, wait a second. Oh, and Zamba, he's definitely kicking himself for missing that edge guard. He definitely had everything he needed to take that stock and Jackal's still alive. Wow, the laser just barely missing Wolf right there. Down, and the down smash also just barely gonna miss. Uh, definitely showing that smash is indeed a game of inches. Wow, and a, a Rob back here whiffing. I've never seen that happen. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy, and this is definitely gonna be really difficult for Jackal. And nice he shot. mixed up his timing, tried to up B early, got lasered. Yeah, no, excellent shot right there from uh, Zamba. Again, Jackal parallel to the stage. And making a pretty easy target to hit. Uh-oh, wait a second. Oh, boy, and the snowballing. Zamba has a lot of momentum right now. Jackal trying to get off the corner, trying to get away from the corner. Can he do it? Finally gets out. Oh, boy, that gyro. I think he tried to pick that thing up, and he just it hit him. Now gyro in hand. Can he get a conversion off of it? Wow. All right. If we're talking about, like, Olympic sports, trying to pick up the gyro and use it is definitely an Olympic sport. Oh, boy. Picking up the gyro is harder than picking up Rob, dude. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> that gyro has, like, the weirdest hitbox ever, dude. It's, like, so hard to pick up. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. Connect once again. Oh, boy. And Jackal, with, I feel like that was a panic option. He rolled. He was already at the ledge, decided to roll in. And, of course, the back air covers that. And it's safe. Even if Zamba had whiffed that back air, he would have been safe from being punished. Did they both choose to wear, like, the same colored shirt today? Yeah, really? they're doing... It's a thing. It's a rivalry thing. <laughs> they're fighting for the color. The alt in real life. Ooh, yeah. Panic roll there from uh, Look at that. Jackal. Gonna Fossil roll. fuel in your face. <laughs> Just melted his head off. <laughs> Can you tell me the R wings don't run on gasoline? Like, dude, no. The Star Fox universe is fully green. All right. <laughs> they have like. <laughs> Andros is like a fossil fuel tycoon, and that's why he's an enemy, bro. <laughs> Their nitrogen emissions are like in the negatives. Yeah, like. James McCloud is trying to take everyone green, and Andros having none of that. <laughs> All right, so game two here. Uh, I think. Man, it was really, really even for most of the game, but once Zamba got that momentum in stock two, it kind of just disappeared. Uh -oh. oh my goodness, and dude, Jackal, that down air was beautiful. Yeah, no, that was excellent. But it right wasn't enough. 
Wow. Rare moment where somebody lived a wolf back air above 100%. Very rare moment, guys. Yeah, listen. You're, wi you're witnessing history Whoa. right now. Those, that up tilt hitbox is so crazy, man. I, I know it, I'm, I shouldn't be surprised by this point, but like, Jesus. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> so much spaghetti on both sides. The dash attack will get the job done from Jack with a loose change in Wolf's pocket. Uh, undefeated in those uh, high percent situations. Oh, wow. Great patience there from Jackal. Just letting... He kind of just knew Zamba wasn't going to grab him, and he just held shield through that fair and down, and down tilt. Very far, he's going to get parried again. We're uh, seeing Jackal hide in the shield a lot more. I don't know if you're noticing, but, like, he's kind of noticing that Zamba's not grabbing as much. So here's the roll-in from the ledge. Oh, it's Zamba got the grab. Not going to roll in. Yeah, again, when Rob back throws you at the ledge like that, especially when you're a super linear recovery, you have to be very scary. I've seen you've seen players like Zamba and other Robs like Boosk do the same thing. Like they'll just catch you, you know, some wrong DI at the ledge and you will die. Absolutely, man. Alright, Jackal. Jackal turned this around really nicely. Up really in a really comfortable spot, man. 50% oh, but don't if he dies here, it's all over, and he makes it. Zamba mistiming that downer spike. There you go, gonna catch you. Once again with the down tilt. Oh man, and you, you know, Jackal messed up there. He, he did a full drift nair into Rob at low percent, which meant that it was unsafe on hit. And Zamba's the mash out of hits done master. Like he will start a zero to death combo on you after he, you hit him. Okay. Oh boy. Oh my gosh, what a stock from Zamba. That was insane. You can't escape destiny. No. <laughs> he tried to escape that up smash, and Destiny was like, nah, 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 you're getting this up smash. Yeah, Death Pax is up smash from Rob. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but Jackal's still up a decent amount. If he could parry one of those falling nares, he could get a really huge punish. Very hard to punish that nair otherwise. You got to get the parry. Yeah, you, you see it a lot, at least, like, you know, at the higher level. You know, the more you're able to... You see a lot of top players be, uh, yeah. parry Rob's Nair because that's really the only way you're going to be able to generate offense. Yeah, some thing. characters like Cloud, they can up B through it and they have like really dumb buttons that go through that. But generally speaking, yeah, especially for Wolf. Um, one of the things I'm noticing here is just that, uh, you know, Jackal's really underestimating how well and at how at what percents Rob can mash out a hit stun. Like yep. I'm noticing that like even at mid percent, he hit him and went for like a follow up and then Rob just came out with a, a forward air at a hit stun. And, and evened everything up. I mean, yeah. J Jackal's gonna have to like second guess these like extensions off of these hits. Oh, boy. Getting off the corner and wow. the turnaround forward smash. Samba up 2 0, man. Yeah, listen. I'm not making money today, dude. <laughs> it's been it's been closely contested between these two. Like we expected, you know, both these guys are, you know, some of the best that the state has, you know, the region has look, to offer. Dude, look, if Jackal loses. Right? He's getting second place money. Yeah. All right? So don't feel too bad for me. I'm the only one not making money out of this set. Yeah. <laughs> I'm actually losing money <laughs> off this set, man. You're a monster. Jackal, please. You got to do this. All right. You got to. So the script is in front of Jackal. Let's see if he, uh, you know, has the means to rewrite it as we are going into this potential last game of the tournament here, folks. Zamba up 2 0 on Jackal. Man, and, and Zamba's just doing such a good. Oh! Wow. And just to say that. Probably the only person I haven't seen die to that today, that mid percent fair to bear combo. Yeah. Uh, but man, Zamba's doing such a good job of just like, he's doing really good in disadvantage, oh! and he's just getting so much out of his advantage state. I think he's doing a better job than Jackal at pressing advantage. Yeah, excellent stuff right there from Jackal. Uh, off the gates here, but and Zamba! That is a stock, yeah. my guy. I yeah. mean, Jackal's super big lead just disappeared, man. Yeah, Zamba wasting, again, no time taking that stock. And we talked about that all night. The X Factor of Rob is that, you know, one of those characters where your lead is never safe. My guy has unlimited supers. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Good parry from Jackal, but falling out of the uh, second hit of the F tilt. He's able to get the uh, follow-up F tilt, but still. Oh, and there's the parry, but he, he he crossed him up. So he up tilted the wrong direction, didn't get the, the punish out of the parry on that Rob Nair. But at least we see that he's going for the parry, which he wasn't earlier. There you go. Oh, the Zamba roll, like there you were it talking is. about. <laughs> and the Zamba roll, yeah. And then we got the parry, and we got the punish. Jacko looking a little different in this game. He says counterplay is a little better. Can he not die here at the ledge? It's hearts, man. You know, both these guys have been so solid 
you know, with their ledge advantage, uh, Jackal's gonna, you know, sneak through with that back air, and Zama, once again, gonna take to the skies to kind of, you know, think about how to get back down to the ground. Oh, Ooh. boy. The, the shields are looking mighty small. Wow, man, I'm not used to seeing people live after Wolf hits them above 150. But Rob is built different. Literally. My guy is machine. literally built differently. <laughs> All right, that uh, drop zone there will finally get the job done. But let's see how Zamba able is able to uh, even the playing field here. Zamba's done a really good job not letting the leads like you know snowball away from him. Yeah, he's done a great job of every time he comes off the angel platform, even though he's losing his stock first. Oh my god! He does this <laughs> and then he wins. My guy just detilted him from across the whole platform, <laughs> the whole stage. Dude, Zamba with the invincibility of the angel platform, he's different. He's just he's it's insane. Not how, like this. Look no. at this. Oh, not no. like this. And this might be the end for Jackal. Oh no, did he lose his jump? No, good awareness. And ah! somehow, <laughs> Zamba messed up that downer spike, got the side hitbox. He's an innovator, because it's really hard to get that hitbox. For yeah, you seriously. not to sweet spot that downer is really hard. It's hard for you to not get the spike. In a game that could have been over, uh, Jackal getting a second lease on life here, but... Oh! oh! And that is your tournament. Wow. Jackal losing 3-0 to Zamba. Wow. Oh, boy. Can we see that last stock one more time? I just want to see what happened here. Like, he got he got stage spiked under the stage. <laughs> so let's let's take a look at it one more time. Going to get the Nair here. Going to get the parry. Goes for the jab. Jackal goes for the up B. Gets the upward hitbox of the spike. But Jackal gets a hit against the stage. So gravity. I need Neil deGrasse Dude, Tyson or somebody to explain what just so happened I'm in so much here. pain watching it. Rob has so much privilege. Skull. Why can he do that through the entire <laughs> corner of the stage? So, what am I looking very at? Very clearly here, he gets hit down, but then he gets hit. Okay, it looks like he gets oh hit to the side of the stage there. Oh, my God. I'm in pain. I'm adding this to the clip of my <laughs> spacing thread. Oh, I'm in pain. Dude, I can't. I can't. I don't know. I hate Rob, dude. <laughs>